This is a story which shocked me, Wallahi al -Azim. And it is a story that existed in about the 10th century in the Islamic era. In that time, Muslims were attacking, sorry, enemies of Islam who were ruthless, were attacking the Muslims in a place called Ar Raqqa in Iraq. And they had invaded the homes and raped the women and stole their children and killed the old men. This is in history. Because they said, our Lord is Allah. After doing so, there was a man at that time who existed. He was a great scholar and a great leader in battles. His only cause and motive was to defend the Muslims wherever they may be, wherever they were killed or oppressed. His name was Abu Qudama. This man Abu Qudama was once, and he was very courageous. He was once sitting in the masjid. When a group of people came up to him and they said to him, Ya Abu Qudama, we have free time right now. Can you tell us of an amazing story that happened during your time? We want to hear the most unusual and surprising story ever to be heard. Can you entertain us, Ya Abu Qudama, and make us come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And then Abu Qudama sat for a while and gathered them. When everyone was silent, like you are right now, he said to them, I recall one of the most shocking stories that ever happened. Until today, I don't know how to explain it. He said, one time I went to that place, Ar Raqqa in Iraq. And I stood up in the mosques. And I went out to the city where there were young Muslims to recruit soldiers who are ready to defend the borders of Ar Raqqa, to stand guard over there. And if the enemy attacks, to be strong enough to defend the women and the children. As Allah says in the Quran, what is wrong with you, O believers, that you do not go and fight in the cause of Allah when the weak and feeble people are calling out, O oh Allah, send people to save us. We are responsible for the weak ones. Whoever and whenever, wherever they may be. And so he began to recruit people. Only a few gathered with him. And so he began to ask for some wealth and money. After the day had ended, he rented a small apartment, a little place to stay in. He said, I went into this place and I stayed there. And then just after Isha, when I was praying my night prayer, I was about to pray my witr. When all of a sudden, in the middle of the night, everything is quiet. You can hear the crickets outside. When my door began to knock, I said, Subhanallah. Nobody knows me here. I've just arrived yesterday. And already my door is knocking. And someone's knocking at my door. He said, so I slowly went and opened the door. And in front of me there stood a woman. I could not see her face because she had covered all of her body. Everything. And while she was covering her hand, she reached out her hand. And before she opened it, she asked, are you the man who was calling out for recruitment today? Were you the man who was gathering wealth in order to go and guard our borders and protect us? He said, yes. You were the one who was calling to jihad. He said, yes, I am the one. So she said, please open your arm, your hand. And he opened his hand and she dropped a piece of cloth which was wrapped up into his hand. And he said, take this, it is an amana. It is a trust. And she ran off. That's all she said. I wanted to ask her many other questions, but she had no reply. So I went inside and I opened that cloth and I found a piece of paper with something written on it and a thick lock of hair. I read the paper and the paper said, Today you were calling out for recruitment to fight with you and protect the weak people. I am a woman and unable to fight. And I don't have enough wealth to give you. So my heart was struck with shock and sorrow when I did not find anything to give you. So I went home and cut a lock of my hair. And that is the one you see in this cloth. 
the only thing which I can give to the cause of this is my lock of hair. I ask you to please use it as your rein, yani the rope that would steer the horse, so that maybe Allah will recognize this and know that I was fighting with you in that jihad. Even though taking a lock of the hair of a mu'min woman, giving it to a man is not allowed in Islam, but her jihad spirit reached that stage, she couldn't stop herself. She said, and tomorrow someone will come to you. He is a recruitment. See if he is worthy. And that is it. He said, Subhanallah, what kind of a woman is this? He said, so I took the lock of hair and I did put it onto my reins. And I, the next morning I gathered the troops and we went out in the, into the battlefield. <clears throat> when we reached the battlefield, you know, the borders, we noticed that a group of army after a day began to make their way towards us. And so I got the army ready and I told them to stand guard. As we were about to move forward, I heard a voice from a far distance calling out, Ya Ammi Aba Qudama, Ya Ammi Aba Qudama, Intadirni, wait for me, my uncle. He looked back and he found a fierce warrior on his horse galloping fiercely towards him. And he had his face covered like this. As soon as this man approached him, Abu Qudama looked at him and said, How can I help you? He said, wait for me. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, who has written for me to meet you and unite with you. He said, calm down, calm down and take a bit of breath. He said, you don't understand. I made a dua all my life to have this opportunity. And I thought that you were going to beat me. Allah, this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed that I was going to unite with you. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. He said, ask me, what do you want? He said, I want to fight with you. I want to have part in this. And then Abu Qudama said to him, show me your face. I want to know who you are. And then he reluctantly took the cloth off his face. And Abu Qudama said, and I looked at his face and before me, was the most beautiful face that I'd ever laid eyes on. The face of a young man, about 17 or 18 years of age. His face was like the full moon in its brightness. And I noticed that he was young. And I said, son, what experience do you have? How can you come and fight with us? No, you are not allowed to come and fight with us. You are too young. Return back. And he said, but my mother came to you last night. He said, your mother? He said, yes, my mother. He said, who is your mother? And he said, she's the one that gave you a lock of her hair. And she told you to look after me. He said, is that your mother? He said, naam. He said, you should go back and look after her son. Don't come here and fight. And he started to hold on to him, the young boy. And he said to him, no, Abu Qudama, no, no. My father fought in jihad and I want to fight too. I want to defend. Please accept me. I have great experience. I have fought many battles and I'm an experienced horse rider. I'm a really good experienced person. Wallahi, you will find me that I'm able to help you a lot. When he insisted on him and he insisted on him, Abu Qudam al he said to him, okay, if you are insisting on traveling along with us, then you have to stand in the last line. And your work is to prepare food for the soldiers. He said, fair enough. I'll do that.